Hey guys, this is Zipar Zions for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use 3D camera tracking in Adobe After Effects. So I'm first going to just show you how to set up uh, the tracking in your project, then I'll take you through putting your own graphics and text inside the scene once that's done. Finally, we're going to be using um, a capture shadows uh, effect to like some positioning to create some shadows. So here's what the project looks like when it's done. So you've probably seen this technique done before. It's very popular in ads and in infographics. Uh, it's very useful for dropping in information about whatever is being displayed in this video. So with some shadows and general lighting, it's also useful for like inserting footage to cover up anything within a scene or just like to outright replace other graphics. So for this project, you can see we're going to be using this footage of some desert park brush. And yeah, that's about it for external assets. And you can find these files down below in the video description. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I have uh, my composition right here. My footage fits to my composition at scale to 100%. If the scale is off, uh, this effect won't work. So select your footage, right click, go to track and stabilize, and hit track camera. So give it a moment, it's gonna have to analyze everything. Okay, now that's done. Let's go over to effects and controls. And let's go down here to track point size. Now you see all these little points here? These are your track points. And these are gonna uh, serve as kind of like the anchors to where we can attach different graphics to, to place them within the scene. So I'm gonna make them as big as possible. Oh, <laughs> maybe not that big, but I think 200 ought to do it for, for what I need. And then we are going to, as you can see, you can move your mouse over any of these uh, little points and that will create um, a plane that we want to attach stuff to. So I'm gonna first, let's see, I want a, a bit of a forward place facing plane right here. Come on, come on. Um, all right, I click on those, I right click, and I wanna create a solid. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that with two other points in the scene. Okay, so these three solids, what we're then gonna do, we're gonna actually right click on any of these solids and we're gonna pre-comp them. And I'll repeat that with the other two. This is so we can replace the graphics within this pre-comp. So double click to go within text one, delete that solid. We're gonna make a new text uh, layer here. So I'm gonna right click here, new text. And I'm gonna type in, let's see, something about this place. So I'm gonna call it, there's a, um, a garden in, in the Southwest of America called Garden of the Southwest. <laughs> There we go. I'm just gonna break it a bit, a little bit, so it looks like that. I'm gonna do a little bit of typesetting. So we're gonna go to effects and presets over here and put in typewriter. Drag that onto our text over here. Now you can see that it like typewrites on, but I'm gonna select this layer, hit U, and I'm actually gonna bring these closer together, these keyframes closer together, so it types on pretty quickly. Now let's go back to our path over here, our main composition over here, and you can see that we've replaced this graphic with a graphic of our own. I'm going to repeat these steps with uh, text 2 and text 3, so I'll skip ahead to that. Now we have uh, other graphics here, but they're pretty small, so I'm going to select them. I'm going to hit scale, S for scale, and I'm just honestly just going to scale it up. I'm going to repeat that for text 3. Now I'm going to show you how to make a shadow for this. Go back to uh, this layer, the path layer, the footage. I'm going to go over to my track points over here. And let's see, if you don't see them, you can adjust the size and they'll become visible. I'm gonna go over here to where I have my first graphic. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be clicking on a plane that uh, is closest to my graphic over here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create shadow catcher and light. So what that does, that creates a really distinct uh, light and shadow for my graphic. Uh, but I am just going to adjust the light here a little bit. Um, I'm going to open up light, light options, and just bring up the intensity to like maybe like 900. That way it can also touch the uh, other graphics over here. And the radius I think is okay. And yeah, it's okay as a point light. But check this out. So I scrubbed my timeline backwards so you can see it. But now you can see with this light, and I've renamed my shadow catcher SC1 can see it creates a realistic shadow underneath the text over here and I've gone ahead I've actually repeated it with the other two uh, graphics and as you can see they're writing themselves on this one's a little harder to see because it's kind of buried already in the, in the pre-existing shadow here but you can see it under the word uh, creosote 
um, Chrysote, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Um, but yeah, the shadow catcher creates a, uh, shadow and a light, uh, that follows along your own graphic. So that's that. You can use this technique to insert signage into scenes, even other pieces of footage into your main video, like a TV screen or a video game console. Try doing this with infographics or adding your own custom graphics to plain footage. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use this uh, tracking effect and Adobe After Effects. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, let us know in the comments. If you have any uh, projects that you're working on, let us, yeah, let us know. So this has been Zipper Designs for Noble Desktop.